This video is designed to inform you of the PSDS Phase 3B eligibility criteria. Some of the criteria will be repeated for PSDS Phase 3B from previous PSDS phases and therefore might seem familiar to those who have applied for previous rounds of PSDS funding, such as the following criteria. Applicants must have and be using a fossil fueled heating system, and this system in question should be coming to the end of its useful life. Applicants must include, as part of their application, at least one measure that decarbonises part or all of the heating technologies within a building. The low carbon heating technology solutions should, wherever possible, be complemented with other measures that will reduce the level of heat demand, such as building fabric insulation and double glazing windows. Applicants are encouraged to take a whole building approach to decarbonising their heating. This is where all the factors that contribute to a building's energy consumption are considered together to identify the most cost-effective way to achieve the objective. External consultancy and management fees may be included in the application, but existing employee costs or any costs previously incurred cannot be included. Applications will be assessed on a first-come, first-served basis, and individual applications can be to any value as there is not an upper cap. However, applicants must demonstrate that they can deliver within the funding timescales, which I will come on to in the next couple of slides. We strongly suggest that you don't just reapply for PSDS Phase 3B with your Phase 3A application, as it will likely not be eligible. This is because there are specific criteria for Phase 3B, which were not present for Phase 3A. Such as the following. The compulsory like-for-like -like contribution must be a minimum of 12% of total project costs, and this must be evidence in the application. Applications must include a measure to contribute to decarbonise the heating with a low carbon heating system in each building included in the application. To meet the whole building approach criteria, applicants must show that they have done everything possible to lower flow temperatures as much as possible for heat pump systems. Heat pump solutions and other low temperature heating systems will achieve the best performance at lower flow temperatures than existing fossil fuel systems. Energy efficiency measures can only be installed where they reduce the heat or electrical demand of the building being heated by the proposed low carbon heating measure. Buildings where just energy efficiency measures are being installed and without a low carbon heating measure will not be eligible for funding. Energy efficiency measures are capped at 58% of the total grant value. Any value above this must be funded by the applicant or other external sources. Phase B Phase 3B will allocate up to £635 million of funding to public sector organisations to be spent in financial years 2023-24 and 2024-25. This is split by financial year with up to £402 million to be allocated for single year projects and these must complete by the 31st of March 2024 and up to £233 million to be allocated for multi year projects which must complete by the 31st of March 2025. We recommend that you read the criteria in full before compiling your application. For more detailed criteria for PSDS Phase 3B, please refer to the guidance notes which you can find on our website as well as the application form. 